plaintiff, Juan Diaz, says the defendant lives next door to him. And they got along just fine until the defendant's son used Juan's swimming pool for target practice. Juan claims the defendant's son and another child were shooting a BB gun at his pool, so he's suing for the damages. Defendant Melvin Pettis says his son has owned a BB gun since the age of seven, and he has always been very responsible with it. On the day in question, Melvin claims his son allowed his cousin and his friend to use the gun, and they are the ones who shot at Juan's pool. Start with you? Yes, sir, I moved in to my home about four years ago, and I introduced you know, myself to the neighbors, met Mr. Pettis, everything seemed to be really good, and, you know, told me what it is, retired firefighter, I work for the county, and we were good neighbors, till his son decides to play target practice with my pool. I, um, as you can see, I, I wanted to show you in this photo here of our houses. Let me see it, please. Where there, um, shows where exactly our houses are related mm -hmm. to each other. As you can see, there's a porch in this backyard and where my, my pool is at. I woke up one morning after, I don't know if you own a pool, but it's a very arduous task to get it ready for the winter. You have to put the chemicals in, you have to pull the top over, which is very hard to do sometimes. You gotta get in the pool and it's very cold. And then you have to place a large ball. I don't own one, so you can stop. You had asked, do I own one? So that you, I don't need to know, because I don't. Okay. <laughs> oh, doesn't help me. Okay, well, uh, here's, here's a photo of what, what the, what the uh, pool oh, looks like when it's done. Go. Hi, okay. This is how it looks. <laughs> All right, okay. I, don't, I don't need to know the process. Now, I, do know, I do need to know the end result, and okay, that's that what it is. That center piece that's in there is the ball that the children were shooting at. Okay. When I woke up in the morning, it was deflated. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe I'd done something wrong. So I went out there, pulled the cover off, and found the ball full of holes. And I remember the night before, the kids were out there playing as kids do. When you say the kids, who are you referring to? It was to? a group of children, probably about five or six of them. Obviously, his child was one of his them. child and some neighbor kids. Go ahead. So I went over two houses down to the one kid that was already out there that I recognized, and I asked him what happened. He said, that Melvin's son and another child were shooting at my pool. I'm like, okay, thank you. You know, so I went over to Melvin's house and I said, hey, do you own a BB gun? Yes. Well, your son shot, my, shot holes in my pool. So I showed him the ball, but then I also went back to my house to investigate more and found there were two more holes in a liner, which I have photos Let's here of. Thing. So I asked him, I said, you gonna pay for it? He goes, yeah, I'll pay for it, okay. So I the told him, defendant. I, yeah, the defendant mm -hmm. said he was going to pay for it. So I went out and got estimates. Let's see it, please. Plaintiff Juan Diaz is suing his neighbor because he claims the defendant's son damaged his pool by shooting a BB gun at it. I'm here from you, sir. I'm here from you. Yes. You want to hear from me now? When I looked at you and I said, let me hear from you. Okay. That All means right, hear from you that's, now. That's what if I want to hear from you 15 minutes from now, okay. that's when I'll turn and say, let me hear from okay. you. Okay, well, I, I tell you. This is going to be a long one, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go well, ahead, in, sir. In the fall of 2011, uh, Juan comes to my house and said that it appeared that this ball he's referring to and his liner possibly had some holes in it, maybe caused from a BB gun. Okay, my son at the time was 12, and he had these BB guns since he was seven years old. And he's been very responsible with them. We've always shot at targets in the back of our yard, and he's never had a problem with this. Well, at the particular day he's, he was referring to, uh, his cousin was over, and one of the neighbor kids from down the street... What was your son shooting at at well, seven years old? No, 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 no. What I'm saying, he had the guns when he was seven. Right. We would, we, we would talk, he actually, as the years went by, he became a very no, good No, 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 no. I'm saying at age seven, what was he shooting at? Little targets in our backyard. Okay, how far away? You know, uh, here to maybe, maybe 20 feet away, 30 feet, you he's know. Pretty good at seven. Yeah, yeah, he was, he's been riding a motorcycle since he was seven. But Driving it himself? With a clutch and all that. Isn't that illegal? <laughs> <laughs> but, but basically, in the yard and stuff like that. Not, but it's illegal, isn't it? Well, I don't think that. I don't. What? I don't think so. 
Well, I'll let you continue. Okay. So, as, as it was stated before, at this particular time when this occurred, he, was, he decided he didn't want to shoot the gun that day, so he allowed his friend and a neighbor down the street to shoot the gun, which one of them was his cousin and his friend. So they were shooting at the targets and what have you, and then... Was he with them? He was sitting on top of the roof. He climbed the roof and was just sitting... How'd they get the gun? He, he left him use the gun. Oh, very good. Yeah. He gave him the gun. Yeah. All right. So it was two of them. So anyway, he's, he noticed that they... They wouldn't have been able to do it without his gun. Right. All so, right, good enough. As long right. as you understand that part, too. Right. Go so ahead. So he shot... So he so saw... So he that when he was seven. No, they were 12 at the time. No, I know. When he was seven, when you gave it to him, you should have taught him that part. <laughs> While you're teaching him target practice, this seven-year-old, how to shoot things from 20 feet away and how to ride a motorcycle at age seven by himself, it's, it's, you should have taught him the all, dangers all, all, and the peril. Right. Go ahead, sir. So at the time that, uh, that this happened, he didn't shoot the gun that day, and he observed them... Mm -hmm. Uh, shooting from, from the All right, let's the make road. this quick. And so I your son a... gave him the gun, right. so he's responsible. And you are responsible because you are a negligent parent. You gave your son a BB gun at age seven. You let him ride motorcycles at age seven. Have a good day. You're negligent, and the judgment is yours. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. As a parent, you gotta take responsibility for what your children do. If it was my son, I would've handed him a check and we would have had talks. I felt that at best I was being neighborly to at least offer to pay a third of it and take some responsibility, but not the full responsibility of what happened for someone else's child. If you find yourself in a legal bind and need some advice, visit my website, askjudgemathis.com.